Hello to my dear friends, how are you? I want to show you what I found. I am at Mobility Centers of Nebraska and I found a van and we have a sales associate here, Brian. Yep. Thank you so much for agreeing to be on this video for me. No, not a problem. He is going to show us this van because I want to show it to you. It's like really cool. Mike and needs it. Don't you guys think so when you, after you see it? Okay, go ahead. So this is our Chrysler Pacifica. Okay. Um, this is a used vehicle with a new conversion. Um, it's got a in-floor ramp and a needle system. So the vehicle actually lowers closer to the ground. Let's see it lowering. To allow for a, uh, less steep of an angle. Um, everything's power on this. Um, super easy to operate. Works off of the key fob, all the factory buttons inside, um, three seats in the rear, um, the two seats in the front. And I'm both, sure. Uh, both seats in the front are removable for driver and passenger applications. Uh, the Chrysler Pacifica has a specific tool where you can actually swap the driver and passenger seats if you needed. Um, this is the Access 360, um, so you can drive in here with the power chair, do a full 360 and drive out. Um, plenty of room for um, any kind of mobility needs. Okay, now tell me, um, did we talk about this door over here when you open it? It doesn't have that that that, that lip on it, does it? No, it doesn't. So this, this other door operates just like a factory one would. Okay. Um, we looked at some that had like a lip on here. Out, so. But you can just step right out here. And then you're, so this is how this one is on this side. That's better than the one with the lip on it, don't you think? Yes. It's a lot easier. I'm short and my feet don't even touch the ground on this, but they have a little step. It's not a step that you step on, but when you get in here, you can put your feet on it. Guys, Micah has never in her 29 years been able to sit in the front seat and be able to see outside the window and to think that she could sit in the front seat of this car and be able to see everything outside would be so cool because she's really limited. And right now, when we're walking her up in the van, she definitely can't see because there's just no visibility where she is. And she doesn't, you know, she's shorter. I'm 5'1", and Micah is a few inches shorter than me. And it's just, and, and she kind of, you know, slumps down in the seats in front of her and she just can't really see very much. So if she was sitting right, sorry, that's hanging off my, that pink thing's hanging off my phone. If she was sitting right here, then she could see everything, just like most of you probably see when you're sitting in a car, in a car. and that would just be so cool. Okay, so we're going to walk out here. Okay. Anything else we need to know about this one? I think that pretty much covers it. Okay, that pretty much covers I like the way it lowers, it's automatic, and the door over there doesn't have it. We've looked at a few, but I think this is what we would probably like the most for functionality. Okay, now what is this called again? This is the Chrysler Pacifica with the VMI North Star conversion. Okay, what's VMI? It is the conversion company that did the uh, lowered floor modification. Okay, so. cool. Okay, now we're going to go out to the one outside. Yes. So this, this, one, this one outside is the exact same vehicle. Okay. It's got 1,400 miles. It's a used vehicle, used conversion. Um, so you get a big discount on it being used basically, but it's basically brand new still. Same features, um, just one is a higher package, so it has DVD, it's got the bird's eye camera, there's a camera on every side of the vehicle that you can see. Yeah, wait till I show you guys this um, 360 camera that it has, it's like really cool. Okay, so this one's called a used, used, and look, see this one's got, Micah could watch a DVD in here guys, so when she's in a bad mood, which I promise sometimes she is, even though you don't see her screaming on camera, she does scream sometimes. And both of these seats in this one, they pop out. And this is a special easy lock where Micah could, sorry about that, where Micah can just drive straight into this, straight, and then she would be able to turn her chair around where she is looking forward 
And there are no tie downs if we did something like that. Now, wouldn't that be cool? And then it would just use the factory seatbelt harness. So oh, okay. Here is the other end right here. So what you do is she would be sitting right here, okay. you have this, and you would just grab this seatbelt right around so she still is buckled in, the chair is secured, so in case of an incident, so no does one that, goes anywhere. Does that like go around her waist? It goes around just like you would be sitting in your sitting in one of these chairs. Oh really? Yep, still a shoulder lap uh, harness. Oh that so, is so cool. Yep, so all the same feet safety. Okay. Okay, and now watch this guys. So it's got the backup camera and then this bird eye. So you get the top view of your vehicle and then all of the sides. So you can see we're parked next to a little bit of uh, gravel. There's a giant boulder in the front and clear on the other sides. And you can swap between all the cameras. There's the front view showing the giant boulder in front and then the back as well. And so you can see all that so you don't hit anything. Isn't that cool, guys? I've never even heard of that. And then it has a remote starter. And it's got heated seats. Yes. And it's got a heated steering wheel. Has anybody ever heard of a st heated steering wheel? Because I have not. Oh, there it is. Because I have not. Okay, hang on. It's not not focused there. So you probably can't read that. Sorry about that, guys. That is really, really cool. So this one. Whoops. Okay, so how, how much does, does this van cost? Well, this, since this one's used, um, it's it's basically just a little bit from over what we paid for it. Um, this one we're marketing at about fifty nine thousand. So fifty nine thousand, and then tell about the discounts. Um, so VMI, um, the conversion company, they have a bunch of their own discounts, um, and I guess money back to uh, consumers. Um, a specific one that they offer is the. Uh, uh, GoFundMe page. So if someone is raising money to purchase one of their vans with their conversion, after the purchase is made, there's a thousand dollars that goes back towards um, the individual. Isn't that cool, guys? I didn't know about that either. And they also offer USAA members a thousand dollar discount as well. So. No, what's that? Um, it's 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 people that are associated with like the military and whatnot. Um, so if you oh, own, okay. if you have insurance through USAA. Um, then you can get a thousand dollars. Oh, that's that. the military insurance. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm I'm familiar with yep. that. Yeah. Okay. And then for like the new vehicles, um, they have a thousand dollar mobility uh, rebate as well. So now, does that count on this van? I don't believe so. I'd have to check on that. Okay. Now, tell about the ADP. Um, AD now, that's a assistive technology partnership. Okay. Um, ATP. It's a, it's a state uh, group that we work with, and they offer uh, ten thousand dollars in assistance um, if you qualify. Um, for you know in-home modifications or towards the purchase of a, a mobility vehicle so and then there's other par uh, groups out there like Boke Rehab and everything that help uh, people with conversions and everything for their vehicles. Now isn't that cool guys because years ago it was only for it was only five thousand dollars which is the purchase of an actual lift but they've increased it so that it is ten thousand dollars it will go toward a vehicle so if we got this van right here, would you say it's 58? 59. It's 59. So then you take off the 10 from the ATP, Assistive Technology Partners. Partnership, yeah. Take that off, and then you take the $1,000 off for GoFundMe. Then it goes down to 48. Then it would be 48,000. And we would probably have this van like forever. All the vans we've ever had have all been used in the past. And... We've just used them until we couldn't use them anymore. And the current van we have is just not gonna make it five more years to put a lift in. So we're looking for something else that we could put Micah in and be able to have it like forever. So what do you think guys? Wouldn't this be a great van to have for Micah? And then Bronson sitting behind her. If we do something where the seats are in the front or on the side, anywhere where, my, where, Bronson, where she can see Bronson, she's going to be screaming at him in the van. So this is, even though now she screams at him when he's two seats behind her, we would stay behind her because he'd be sitting here where I'm at right now. So anyway, this is cool. Anything else? Nope. I was just going to say, you know, we, we're going to get you that rental and everything to test out and see how Oh, that's right. The, that's uh, right. Okay. So tell, tell them what we're going to do. Um, so we have uh, rental vans that we rent out to people. Um, I was talking with you and I, I told you we would uh, give you a free one day rental um, to take one of our vans um, to go take uh, Mike out to wherever 
she felt that she wanted to go um, and we can get it set up so she can be a front seat passenger or right in the middle in the back here depending on what they want and um, kind of test one out and see how it works for them so that's really cool so isn't that fun guys so we can take a rental out and take Micah around in her power chair she's lost her power chair mobility for a really long long time so this is really exciting so thanks so much guys for being here and I will talk to you soon I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.